Hey trackers, today we're looking at something really small and this is feeding sign and this was done by a jackrabbit so you can see this cut here is really clean and uh, the tips are not shredded like you would see on a deer feeding sign. Um, this is rabbit feeding sign is typically very clean cut like this and the tips show what uh, some authors call a 45 degree angle to them. Sometimes you can see some striations in there that are indications of the incisors that were used to clip these. And look from the side and you can see that angle. So the height of this, this sign from the ground is probably a foot right here to the ground. And that would be a little tall for our local small cottontail known as the brush rabbit. It would have to stand on its hind feet to reach this and nibble on it. If I was a brush rabbit, I would nibble this lower down stuff first. But if you're a jackrabbit, this is the right height for you if you're sitting here and, and just feeding on this. So um, the other thing to notice right here is that there are some clipped pieces down here. And all of these pieces that have fallen down show that nice clean cut. But the other thing to note is this right here. Rabbit scat. So here's your size comparison. And the accumulation of rabbit scat right here means that the rabbit sat here for quite a while feeding on this because they eject one pellet at a time. So the jackrabbit, there's a study out there that showed that um, jackrabbits can eject 545 pellets per day. So they do quite a lot of them. Um, but this is a larger accumulation. Usually you find them singly. And uh, so this indicates the rabbit was sitting here for a while feeding on this, as does also the amount of sign that's here. All these bits and pieces that have been clipped off that I'm holding in my hand, as well as all this damage that you see to the brush here. So here are the pieces that I picked up off the ground. And I've just arranged them so you can see all the ends in the same place. And notice how nicely clean cut these are and how they all have that angle to them. Some of the bigger ones show it a lot better because it's easier to, to visualize it. Um, if I flip these around, the other ends also show those cuts because it looks like the rabbit clipped them off the, uh, the plant to um, feed on them. And this is a, some kind of broom. I think it's scotch broom or French broom. doesn't have its leaves right now, so I can't tell for sure. Um, but that's what the rabbit was eating and it's winter time so this is more the time where they're focusing on winter type browse. They aren't eating leaves because there are not a lot of fresh leaves around um, other than evergreen type plants but uh, so they're browsing on things right now and this is um, woody stuff that they bite through and they also um, will eat the bases of some of the plants that have woody stuff this time of year. So their diet shifts during particular times of year due to availability of food. So I thought you'd like to look into the world of the black-tailed jackrabbit and see what it's been feeding on. Also this location. So the location here is nice because it's on the edge of a field and there's an open field to the right but to the left is all brush and it's really dense brush so this provides shelter for the rabbit if the camera will focus there and you can see little trails in through here there's a really big trail over here that the deer have been using but um, in general this this area provides shelter for the smaller creatures and so that's why the jackrabbit feels uh, safe to spend so much time right here feeding on this particular plant or plants along this edge because it can just run right back into the shelter over there and hide underneath this brush if a predator comes by so it's a fairly safe place, and uh, it's about feeding time for them right now, so I better get out of here and, and leave it some, uh, some room. Uh, I just found some more of these that have been kind of strewn along that trail. So possibly by the same jackrabbit, they still have those cuts, just like the ones I just dropped next to them.